Hey, it's Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we are taking a detailed look at the Nomadic Navigator Light Backpack, which I've been testing over the course of the last two weeks. So, let's jump in. So kicking it off the main materials on this bag, we have a 400D nylon, a 330 denier poly, and then we have what appears to be zoom zippers on here as well. And I think they're zoom because Peak Design uses zoom zippers and they have a very similar shape to what Peak Design does, kind of that like uh, square shape on the actual slide here. And then, um, yeah, they also are branded. So I know Peak Design does something similar. As far as that goes, I'm kind of like, between the structure and the zoom zippers, kind of has felt a little bit weird to zip at times. Um, I put big trust in YKK because I've had too many other zippers that are not YKK break on me. But zooms for us, they've done pretty well when we tested them with the Peak Design bag. So we're starting to like them a little bit more. Um, I personally like YKK the best, but zoom's definitely getting better. Um, you know, and on a smaller bag like this, I think it's okay to have those kinds of zippers. Your mileage may vary, your trust may vary. It all just kind of depends. So the exterior here, we have kind of like a rubbery nomadic logo down here at the bottom. And real quick, like the main reason why they call this light is because this is 2.4 pounds, which is apparently 20% lighter than the other navigator. Um, I don't know if the math like quite works out to be that. I think it's like a little bit less light based on the listed dimensions, however, um, and, and what we've weighed. However, it still is lighter, but it's not like a ripstop nylon. So you're not getting like a swishy bag, um, you know, that you, that's not gonna hold its structure. It's still very structured like the Nomadic Navigator series is in general. It's just a little bit lighter in weight and also lighter in color with this gray color. So it has a pretty, it keeps its shape pretty well. It's got kind of like a, there's like some kind of like foam between these types of, these two fabrics, which gives the bag its structure even when it's empty. Um, I personally like a bag with a little bit more flex, but it does stay structured even when nothing is in it. All right, so the front face is pretty easy to understand. We have handles here on each side of the bag. It's kind of a soft seatbelt like material. I really like it. I like the way it carries as well. And because it has that structure to it, it's not gonna like visibly sag down quite as much. So a lot of the times on bags that are less structured, you kind of get a weird dent here, even more so than what I'm showing now. And then it just gets a little bit ugly to carry on the side. Um, you have handles on both sides, so this is really nice. You can kind of cart this around, whether you're in your hotel room or you know taking it out of the overhead bin or under your seat and then you have a handle on the top as well. No handle on the bottom, but I think that's okay. And I think you just saw, but the water bottle just slipped out. So I have this, this is full right now. This is a Hydro Flask. I believe it's called the Light Series, but it's like made to be lighter weight. It is full of water right now. This water bottle pocket, I like that it stows away, but it's just kind of like a mesh bag on the side here, and it just kind of hangs out. So it doesn't really like lock your bottle in super well. Sorry if that was kind of loud. Um, I might actually rig something up with the hero clip that I have on this side, which another thing to mention is there's not really exterior lash points here. So I just had that carabiner hanging on this handle, which can kind of flop around. But I might rig up something like this where I, you know, go through the handle like so. And then I also go through that hydro flask. So then if it falls out, at least it kind of stops it. Or if it falls out completely, um, it can catch it with that carabiner. So I'd strongly recommend doing something like that. You don't have to get a hero clip, like uh, S Beaner from Night Eyes can definitely do the trick as well. But I would definitely recommend that because when you're traveling, you know, when the plane's taking off, it was funny, I was on a flight the other day and uh, somebody's like water or soda literally rolled like 30 seats back because he, he didn't have it like inside of his bag or anything like that. Or maybe it slipped out of a water bottle pocket like this. I don't know. 
But the whole time he's like, during takeoff, he's like looking back, seeing if he can get it. I don't know, it's funny. But that's why I like to have things like fastened and I don't like to have a lot of things open, which is why I like zippers and like water bottle pockets that keep things really tight. Okay, so that pretty much covers like the exterior function. Let's chat a little bit about the harness system. And I'm actually just going to, real quick, I'll show you how the water bottle pocket stows away. So I'm just gonna get rid of this thing that I rigged up. All right, pull that out. I'll just leave it here for now. I'm gonna put this down off to the side. Okay, so this is nice, it just kind of stows away. So you've got a little place to stow away that water bottle pocket. You can also, I suppose, put some smaller slim items inside of here if you'd like, just to kind of have a little bit more space inside of there. Come on, zip up. That's another thing, mesh can get caught kind of in that zipper. So you want to really make sure that's stuffed away before you zip it up. All right, I'm gonna put this thing on for you and just talk about the fit. So I think it fits very comfortably. I like that it has some structure. I like this size on me. I did take it on a little weekend trip and I appreciated the size. Some of the organization, I got some stuff to say about it, but the size is great. And then you got a sternum strap right here. You can buckle in, tighten up as well. There you go, get a nice comfy, cozy fit. I like the way it feels, it's comfortable. And I think Nomadic has really come a long way in the refinement of their products over the years, which I really like. Still not like excited about the zipper choice, but hey, that's me personally. Okay, so another thing that I love, which is very smart, is that there is a loop up here on the top. So instead of hanging things from the handle, you can just use this small nylon loop at the top I love that it's really slim too, which helps keep it a little bit lighter, right? I mean, every ounce counts when you're designing a bag. So if you wanna hang this up on a hook, you can quite easily. There you go. You don't have to go through this handle. It's a little bit cleaner this way, especially if it's like a hook on the wall that doesn't come out that far, like an airport bathroom hook, for example. Love that. The straps themselves, some pretty cushy foam. We have some breathable mesh here on the back. Overall, this harness system feels very structured and very like kind of stiff, which is sort of how the whole bag feels, just because it really retains that structure. So you have these two padded portions up here, two padded at the bottom, and then one like little lumbar support thing, air channels in between, which helps some, but at the end of the day, if your back's gonna get sweaty, it's gonna get sweaty. And then we have a luggage pass-through here. Luggage pass-through is amply sized, which I like. It's made of a soft seat belt material. And a couple of our Pack Hacker Pro members always talk about they like when you can have the bag vertical on your roller bag, like this. So you thread the handle through here, and the bag is vertical, so you can get access to it that way. People typically prefer that to having it this way and then sticking it on the side, unless it is like a briefcase style bag. Sternum strap here, I guess I didn't mention one material, but this is like a Hypalon daisy chain going down the side. Feels a little bit rubbery to the touch. I really like the feel. And then the, the hardware here is YKK, actually. So we have YKK buckles and what I believe to be zoom zippers on here. Um, really standard like clip for the sternum strap, clip it together. We also have some elastic keepers for the straps. Just overall simple, good. A Little bit of bar tacks. Uh, down here, a bit of reinforcement down at the bottom where the uh, strap uh, adjuster meets the strap itself, which I dig. And then again, like a soft seatbelt material down here, which is really nice. Um, so got some good adjustment there. Also YKK hardware, which is another good sign. And uh, you can adjust these as you see fit. There are no elastic strap keepers here though. So maybe get some Velcro alongside of this if you don't want this thing flapping around. I always like when bags include those though. So that pretty much covers the harness system. Again, comfortable bag to wear. I like the structure too. I typically prefer a bag with less structure. I like to create the structure myself with packing cubes and such, but it is a very comfortable fit. Let's get on to the zippered compartments. So starting it off, this is what I was showing you earlier, right here. This is where that water bottle pocket deploys from. So we can skip that. And then this compression zipper can unzip and give you an extra six liters of space. 
So you can see that there's fabric inside of there. It just kind of pulls out. I felt some stuff in there just shift around, um, but it just kind of pulls out. I don't know if I'd recommend like overstuffing it and trying to like really stress pull these zippers down, but I suppose you could use it to like get more into the bag than you should as well. I just recommend not doing that. Um, I like this too because it's, it's interesting because it's just down here at the bottom. So it kind of creates this like wedge shape, right? Not, not the whole thing coming out. So you have a little bit of that profile still maintained here. Um, yeah, extra six liters of space. Good to have that option. I like to keep it compressed whenever possible. I like bags to fit a little more slimly, slimly on my back. Next pocket, up here at the top, little quick grab pocket. Flips down, you get access to it. I just put my like everyday quick grab items inside of here. I'm gonna throw those off to the side for now. Nice soft material in here too. So if you have glasses, you know, sunglasses or eyeglasses, you can pop them in here as well, which is nice. And then that's really, um, you know, helps with like scratching and stuff like that. Very soft liner. Now the only thing here is that the pocket goes down to about here. It is sort of easier if you're just, you know, dumping stuff in. It's kind of like a dump pocket. Where I found it a little weird is when I had the bag down sitting like this and I was like trying to, you know, like open this up. It's just like a little bit stiff. It feels like I like shouldn't be doing this, right? I'm like putting pressure on this foam. Um, no problems with it yet. It just, it just felt like a little bit off for me compared to like, again, like a softer material that would just open up. And it's like, it's kind of like a flap. So you're like, I can kind of bend, but then it bends and then it bends here, but the pocket ends here. So it's like a little bit, a little bit of an odd feeling, a little bit of a thing to get used to. Um, I guess I didn't really talk about the zipper pulls themselves either. Nice, uh, like paracord zipper pulls with a nomadic brand on them. I like how clean that they are. They're very easy to grab too. Zero jingle. I mean, listen to that. You can't even hear anything. Like, is the audio muted right now? I don't even know. <laughs> okay, let's open this thing up and look inside. Nomadic calls it a three quarter zip, but it's a full zip, but they have some gusseting or some fabric here that prevents it from opening further. Now, I recently tested a Heim Planet bag. It was a Heim Planet day pack and it had a similar interior layout to this. For some reason, this to me, I like a little bit better. It feels a little bit more natural because of this flap here is preventing you from opening it up all the way. So it's like gives you a bucket down at the bottom, but then you have these organizational pockets here. Now, if it was fully clamshell, I think I, I still feel this way, but I think a little bit more, I would feel like I just can't really optimize this space. And let me walk you through why that is. So I've got, pouches and stuff here in layers. You know, this, my roof stand is like directly for my, for my computer is just directly down to the bottom. I think it's fine. It stashes away in the corner there, nice and easy. And then I have <laughs> two packing cubes here at the bottom too. So those are just sitting down at the bottom. There you go. And I had my Western Rise Versa hat up here just cause I don't know, like it, one, it's super satisfying. It just looks like a little half moon there folded up, but this just like slipped down to the bottom of the bag. So that's where I kind of start to get like a little bit like, is this, should I use these like organizational pockets here? Or like, should I just dump everything inside? And it kind of becomes this like bit of a weird thing because I have a pouch here now, but it's being wedged up by a pair of gloves that I have in the back in this mesh pocket. So let me just pull that pouch out here. I had the pouch in this pocket, which goes like down to the bottom. I had a packing cube above it. And then I had um, the gloves here. And I think you get this like weird layering. And then I feel like I don't really know how to use the top. So for a day pack like this, you know, maybe you want some more organization, but if it's like travel focus for me, at least, I just put like pouches and packing cubes inside of the bag. And they hold, I mean, this thing is structured too. Like it's not gonna sag around that weird um, when it's empty, but you know, you kind of, you're kind of like layering it up and you're like, why is this in a pocket? And like, if it's in a pocket, I have to like shift these packing cubes around to like get to it anyways, if you are taking advantage of the space on the top. 
So just like in the Heim Planet bag, it feels a little bit awkward to me to organize when all that organization is at the bottom of the bag or the back panel. This one does feel a little bit better because it's like designed to be more of a bucket like that. It opens up, you have this bucket space where you just dump stuff at the bottom. But again, with a full clamshell, it's just a little bit odd for me to pack up personally. Your mileage may vary. You can also just ignore all the pockets inside of here and uh, just stuff in your packing cubes. That's fine too. But yeah, two mesh pockets here, two liner pockets here with a bit of elasticity as well. And then we have two like sneaky pen pockets. I made sure to put one in each side so I didn't forget to talk about it. So if you have your pen, pencil, stylus, things like that, those can go in here. I think it's kind of clever that they use that as, as like the extra space, but I mean, thinking about access, me personally, I think I'd just keep one up here. If I really wanted a pen, I'd keep it up there just to have quick access to. But this is more of like a, if you remember and you have it in here, that's great. All right, liner pocket up here at the top. So we got a zoom zipper. This is kind of the same thing where I'm kind of like opening it up and that's good and everything. And then I, I feel like I'm like, am I supposed to bend this or not? You know, it's like foam. So inside of here, I've just got like an air tag just to keep track of this thing, but like passport, notebook, things of that nature go well in there too. So that covers the inside. You can also see this fabric. Let me show you what it looks like too when I unzip the compression portion and we can see. So you can see that this fabric down here kind of come up when we unzip that and when we compress it. I'm trying to give you a good view here. This bag was not designed to just show on camera. It's designed to be used. Gosh dang it. Okay, so that extra bit of fabric you can see right here, kind of like folding and creasing with, with that. So that's the extra space that you get. That's why it kind of looks bunched up on the back as well. Um, but yeah, nice little option. So the last thing I want to talk about here too is the laptop pocket. So that's right in the back. That opens up. I've got my 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's supposed to hold most 16 inch laptops. Fits my 16 inch MacBook Pro really well. And I like what they've done here on the, the side. You've got the zipper stops here on this side and then the zipper stops lower on this side. So it's like one third, two thirds. You can kind of, again, do this. It's got some structure, right? Um, but you can do this, get access to your laptop, pull that out. They say that it's okay for a tablet as well. However, just note there's like no extra pocket. So a lot of bags will provide like an extra top uh, pocket for a tablet. In the interest of keeping things light, they may have skipped that. Um, and then I want to say, no, they didn't just miss some uh, fabric here. This is also like a cord pass through too. So if you had like, you know, maybe your phone inside of one of those mesh pockets on the inside and you wanted to plug it into your laptop or like a battery bank that you wanted to plug your laptop into to charge, you can pass a cord right through here. And I'm just going to prove that to you by showing my finger right there. And I just want to talk about real quick too, just the structure of the bag. So you can see, right, remain, uh, maintains its structure pretty well. You know, it's pretty, pretty well structured. And if I'm just going to put that on too, you can just see how that interacts with my body while it's empty. So yeah, very structured bag, even while empty. And yeah, there you have it. That is the Nomadic Navigator Light Backpack. Thank you so much for keeping it here at Pack Hacker. Your guide to smarter travel. See you in the next video.